Okay. To remove the Arduino board from the GPS Adventure box, first remove the top cover. Inside you'll have the GPS Adventure box shield that's plugged into the Arduino board. You can actually remove the shield with all the cables intact if you're careful. You want to make sure you've removed the SD card first so you're not pulling on that. You actually are going to pull up on the green board, not on the SD card reader. And try to pull up with even pressure all around because there's a double row of pins on this side. It may take a little bit of prying, but be careful and patient and you'll get it out. Just like that. Carefully without kinking the, the cables or anything, just pull it over to the side. The Arduino board has two screws that are holding it in place. There's one down here and one over here. Go ahead and unscrew both of those. And now you can pull the Arduino board out. It may help to actually go ahead and remove those screws completely just so they're not keeping it in place. Okay, now to remove it, it's in there pretty pretty snugly. You may have to remove the GPS board, but I found that you, if you're careful, you don't have to do that. Just kind of pull it out at an angle like that, and then up. Now you can plug this into your computer and update the firmware. Once you have downloaded your updater file, you want to go ahead and locate that file and extract it. After you've extracted it, go into the folder that it created and locate the xloader.exe file and run it. First thing you want to do is browse to the correct hex file by clicking here and locate the GPS giftbox rev 4cpp Dot hex file. It will be in the same directory that you just extracted. Next you want to select the correct board model which would be the Atmega 2560. Now you want to check your COM port list here and you should probably have a couple of COM ports that are enabled or maybe just one. Now you'll want to go ahead and plug in your Arduino board USB port and you should see another COM port pop up in here. It may take a few moments for it to install the device drivers. You see here I have COM port 6 now available. I'll select that COM port and I'll leave the baud rate the, the same and I click upload. Once you get the message that it uploaded this many bytes you're good to go. You can go ahead and unplug your Arduino board and plug it back into your box with the GPS Adventure Box shield plugged into that and you're updated. Once you've updated your firmware you can go ahead and plug your Arduino back in. When you put it in try to put it in the same way you, you pull it out. The tail end first and then slide it in and replace your two screws. Be careful not to over tighten the screws or drop them and lose them forever inside the box. And just carefully uh, screw them in. You don't need to make new holes, they just line it up so that it goes in where it was originally placed. And like I said, don't make it too tight. You don't want to warp the board. This is just enough to retain it and keep it from wiggling around. Put in both of them. There we go. Now, before you place the GPS Adventure Box shield back into the Arduino, double check that all your pin rows are straight. If when you pull it out there's pins that are crooked or anything, just carefully align them. They should all be evened up. Just double check that they're all good to go. Assuming they are, go ahead and line up your board so that the pins line up with the, the female side on the Arduino board. Once you've got it, lined up pretty well, carefully push down with even pressure all around the board. Maybe a little bit snug, 
Don't force it if it doesn't feel like it's going. Once you've placed that in there, carefully tuck the GPS cable in and you're updated and ready to go.